What is going on guys? It is JJ here back with another video from the Women's World Cup where the US Women's National Team officially beat the host France. Woo! Yes, finally the game that everyone was waiting for, these quarterfinals. It, it's predicted that this is supposed to be the winner's game or what could have been the final. Uh, the USA winning just the, the tightest game uh, pretty much of, of the season uh, of this amazing. World Cup. Yeah, it was Megan Rapino. Oh, uh, Bay. Yes, it, the, my hero. Her her game was just unbelievable. The free kick, all of the, the speed, the dribbles, everything involved with Megan Rapinoe's game. Two goals on the day. Uh, one with a great Tobin Heath assist in the second half to pretty much put the game away. And oh, uh, it was just it was amazing. Mm -hmm. Megan Rapinoe's first goal went right through everyone. Didn't touch anyone. Boom. That, oh, it was that it was, yeah, it was really <laughs> weird. It was really weird for like. I thought someone was gonna touch it, but then went right through. So it's that's one of those situations where like if an own goal happens. Like it's just like the yeah, it was just great because it was Megan Rapinoe. Yeah, yeah, it, just because it's Megan Rapinoe. She's you know Trump calls her out and she responds with some <laughs> more goals. So this this is it's gonna be an amazing World Cup, especially for the women's side now that we've gotten past what is like the biggest stepping stone. I feel like because realistically, guys, France seemed like the strongest squad coming in. They had so many players in the team of the year in Europe. So many play just. Oh my goodness, Wendy Renard was just a nuisance in this game the entire time. Yeah, they had so many crosses too, could not finish anything. The, that, what is it, like 16 or 17 shots yeah. and like three on target. One of them off of Wendy Renard's head, which by the way, she's got the best hair in the business. Uh, <laughs> is is unreal, but it's, it's just like a huge weight lifted off your shoulders. Uh, I feel like I'm going to eat my words if England end up beating the USA. But, oh. but the road to the final just seems so much easier now that we're finally yeah, into the game. Yeah, it kind of feels like we already won the World Cup. It, that game really did feel like, like a final, though. It's going to be the hardest game, and we won, so... Oh, uh, it's... Hopefully. Yes, knock hopefully. On, knock on one. Hopefully. Also... I really thought that Tobin Heath's goal was onside. I, I would like VAR to review some more because Crystal Dunn, I feel like, was onside. Um, but, I mean, that's just, that's my biggest pet peeve. I don't so, know if Tobin Heath was, but maybe maybe if we saw a replay. Yeah, we, but we, I'm still happy with it. Yes, we need to see some more replays because that is, it, that's outrageous. I, yeah. And then, I think right after that is when Randy and I, yeah. Yeah, got it, It's just, guys. USA, all we have to do is get past England now. It, I, don't, I don't know who we're going to end up facing. Obviously, uh, the Netherlands still have a good yeah. chance against Italy. That's going to be a really good game. Good and and uh, maybe it'll be Germany back again. I just don't I don't quite know. Maybe. Yeah, it, at, at this point, one semifinal is set. It is the U.S. versus England. Uh, it, it'll be... It's going to be good no matter what. Yes, yes. It, it's just... It just feels so nice to finally have this weight lifted off of our shoulders from France. I, I do want to say France, unlucky. Uh, obviously, you know, running into the U.S. that early in the tournament, it was going to happen eventually. I feel like USA versus France had to happen at some point. Um, but, you know, it was a great game nonetheless. I know it hurts hosting the, the World Cup and falling out this early, but... Yeah. Yeah, fair, fair well, play to it. There are a lot of U.S. fans there too. I'm um, maybe even more than like people, France people. But yeah, the attendance for that game is unreal. If that doesn't show you how much the women's game is, is evolving, that the, the ticket prices you know skyrocket oh, when, the, when the game goes. Of dollars. Yes, thousands Crazy of dollars. Expensive. Oh my god. And then nearly an attendance of fifty thousand in the game. Forty-five thousand, I think, was the final attendance. But yeah, all props to the game. It's oh yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> guys. Uh, Thank you guys so much for watching. We're so excited. Yes, yes, we're, we're unbelievably excited. We we just came from the watch party. It was, uh, no, it was relieving. Yes, relieving to say the best. So so much anxiety, but we did it. Yes. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Kim, for joining us on this. It's it's Thanks. been, it's been a great road in the women's World Cup, and we're hoping to you know end it with another back-to-back -back World Cup title. But you guys can let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And peace.